Good morning, Pickaholic friends. Today is August 22nd, and before us, we have um, Brogio Alto Nero. And as I understand it from a friend in Europe that's a collector, um, there's more than one version of Brogio Alto Nero, um, Descano and Romano version, and this supposedly is um, Descano, I thought. But th I think this was from Paolo Bellini. Um, sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name right. I'm doing it from memory here. I'm getting kind of tired today already. But um, I've not gotten fruit from this before. It's grown fairly well. Um, supposedly a synonym, some say, for um, Bro Burgess Nor or Violet de Soleil. Um, this might have some spoilage because there's not it's liquid coming out. But let me see. Maybe a little bit on the bottom, but not much. Um, well, right at the eye, he spoiled some. Um, it was good. Um, um, very sweet and um, a moderate berry flavor. You see, I saw another down here. That one down there is hard. This one here is still fairly hard. So. Just looking at the shape, I'm going to say this does not look the same as Berger Sote Nor and Violette de Soleil and Nor de Barbantin. Um and you know, even the immature fruit. It's going to, doesn't have the same oblate shape. I'm going to have a hard time getting my camera following where I want it to go. There, it's a on a gyro and it moves on its own some. So again, um, this is Brogiotto Nero from Palo Bellini. Thanks for watching.